Hey guys, Cool Domino here. This will be a tutorial video on how you can wire up a weather radio to set up an AR timer that's connected to a siren. As you can see here, the AR timer is fully working. Just did a little growl of it. But you can see it's fully working. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the tools that you're going to need is you're going to need a set of alligator clips right here. Like this right here. A Recom 1630 weather radio. An STI mini controller alarm. I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy one of these. Um, you're also going to need a small Phillips or flathead screwdriver. Um, you're also going to need a Phillips or flathead screwdriver, depending on the screws that are on your AR timer. You're also going to need a fully charged 9 volt battery. A manual, like this one right here. Uh, this is the AR timer manual, but it's a PGA on it because I printed out everything for it. And you're also going to need a a uh, single channel audio cable. I got this at Radio Shack. If I can find one, I'll put in the link in the description. A single channel 3.5 millimeter audio jack. I just cut this in half though. It was a male to male originally, but I cut it in half. Attached it to these wires right here. And then all the next thing you need is um, some length of wire. It doesn't matter what gauge it is. It has to be at least 18 gauge or it's lower than 18 gauge. Uh, you're also going to need your air timer as well. And if you have a siren connected, that would be great. If not, don't worry too much about it. The first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to prepare your alarm right here. So go ahead and take your alarm like this and just set it down for now. Go ahead and grab your your audio cable which the, with the cut ends like this one. Just set it also aside and take your alligator clips and set that aside. Well. And your small screwdriver. Go ahead Use the key that it came with that what came with your alarm to open it. If it's unscrewed enough, you can just use your fingers to undo it. Once you got that undone, take your cover off and just set it aside for now. Now this is a red alarm right here. Any color alarm would work. If the link is not working for you or if the item I linked in the description sold already, just let me know and I'll try to find another least expensive one. Now go ahead. Grab your wire right here, feed it through the hole right here. Also make sure you have a jumper wire between, make sure you have a jumper wire on the alarm switch as well. Not the key switch, the alarm switch. You want to connect your wire to the alarm switch. I just connect it up, don't worry about clarity yet. Like that. Tighten up the screws. Now, if what I'm, what I'm about to show you, if that doesn't work, just flip the polarity around on the wires and it should work. Now just go ahead and just set it down for now. Now, grab your weather radio. Make sure it is set to alarm. Make sure the alarm socket is set to switch. That's important right there. Once you confirm that, Go ahead and just set this down in here. Hold down the button, the tamper switch, on the alarm. Plug in your weather radio. And then connect your battery. Now, what you want to do is go back to your weather radio. And just go into the siren test function. Now, headphone users, you might want to turn on your volume. And just go ahead and give it a siren test. That seems to be working well. If it doesn't work for whatever reason, or if the lights appear dim when you plug in your radio, um, try switching the polarity on these two wires. But it appears that everything's working. Once you confirm this is working, go ahead and disconnect your weather radio, and set the weather radio aside again. Then disconnect your battery, and let go of your tamper switch. Now you're off to the next step. Grab your length of wire. Pull it out, extend it out all the way. Now you only want to strip off just much amount of wire right here, so make sure you go ahead and strip that much much amount of wire off. As you see here. Now once you have got that much wire stripped, feed this wire through the hole as well. Now connect one wire to common, C O M, and then connect up your normally open N O. like that. Pull the wire out nice and tight. Not too tight or the wires might come out. 
once you got that done, go ahead and connect up your battery. Don't worry about the tamper switch. Like that. Put your cover on. And now, grab your alligator clip right here. Connect one end to the long side of the, on the lower section. And then grab the other side and just touch it to the top. Your alarm should fire up. Just like that. Once you confirm that's working, just go ahead and set the alligator clip aside. You may not need it for the rest of this last press of the video. And now you're off to the next step, which is wiring up to wiring it to the AR timer. Now what I would do is I will put some timestamps right here on the side of the screen, right over here. That will tell you what to wire it up for. If you want to wire it up for just a blast, or you want to wire wire it up for alert, or you want to wire it up for attack. You cannot do canceled. So that's a problem. So once you if you wire decide to wire it up to alert or attack, you can't cancel it with the radio. You have to manually cancel it, as you see here. Now I'll go ahead, grab your alarm setup with the cables on it, you see here, and just set it up here for now, or set it somewhere near the timer. Now this is very important. You can see the light is on right here. There's power going to it. Go ahead and kill the power to the timer by turning off the switch, or unplugging it, or whatever. Open up your AR timer. Locate the two screws, one and two, which are right there. And that wire's in the way. These two screws are what you want to look at right here. Now, if there's any wires connected to it, make sure you do not disconnect those wires. Now go ahead, take your wire right here, feed it through the top hole, which is up in here. Route it off to the side and let it route down to the ground, at the bottom of the timer, just like that. Now since these are flathead screws, you're going to grab your flathead screwdriver. Now go ahead and give these wires right here a little fish hook. And don't, if you don't know what a fish hook is, that's what the fish hook looks like. Make sure you do that. Do it on both wires. Now polarity doesn't matter on these wires. So go ahead and loosen one of the screws, making sure no wires that are already connected are would disconnect though. Like that one's trying to disconnect. Like that. And then go ahead and grab your fish hook. Just kind of loop it into the screw. You might want to hold one the wire if there's any wires connected to it. And hold it in place. There you go. Sorry you can't see that though, my hand in the way, but now go ahead. Oops. Just tighten it into place, just like that. Now do the same thing on number two. Make sure to make sure you don't disconnect the wire, and then go ahead and connect up your other wire. And there you go. Now you got your wires connected. Close the AR timer. Turn on power to the siren. Now disarm your siren or disconnect it. Now go ahead and bring your weather radio back over here and just simply connect it to the alarm connect it to the alarm out on the radio if you heard that when I connected it you heard the relay click down here that's why you want I want you to disconnect your siren before you before you connect up the radio now another thing to keep in mind is you want to go ahead and go into here go into the program menu and then make sure your alert mode is set to voice. See, it says voice. You want to make sure it's set to voice. And then that, you should be good to go. Now go ahead and go back into program. And go ahead and give it a siren tap. As you heard there, when I turned it off, you can hear the relay de-energize. I can bring the camera over here and do another siren tap. That's the relay. You're good. You should be good to go for this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up the siren, and then I'm going to show you what it's going to do with the siren enabled. All right. So now it's my siren is turned on and, and it's connected. 
And now, as long as the siren on the radio runs, the siren's gonna keep going. So that's why I want to set it on voice, instead of alert. I'll go ahead and press the button and let the siren wind up. As you can see, it works really well. If you want to switch it from a blast mode to the alert mode, make sure your timer is turned off. Open your timer and disconnect the wire that is connected to the screws if it's already connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on that. Make sure these wires do not come off. Now, go ahead and split these two wires a little farther apart. Just like that. Connect one wire to screw six. For um, alert, you connect to screw four. For attack, you connect to screw three. I'm gonna do alert. So go ahead and connect to screw four. I should do an alert. Now, they should be all good to go. Go ahead and close up your AR timer. Connect up your cable to the alarm socket. There you go. Now I turn the AR timer back on. Now go into your program menu. Do a siren test. And you can see the AR timer is activated and alert. Now if I, now the siren was running, I would do this in a second. But when the siren's running, it should be gone right now. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. That's why you want to have it only set for voice. They can cancel it needed. Alright, now I'm going to do it. I'm going to run this in alert right now. You can see the AR timer has been resetted. And as long as the radio is sounding, this alarm keeps flashing. So when this alarm stops flashing, the relay disengages, but the siren should keep going. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> As you can see there, it works really well. Now I'm going to show you how to wire it up for attack. Now if you want to convert it from alert to attack, just follow this video right here. Just connect the power to your AR timer. And go ahead and take the wire that is from screw to screw four. Take the wire off of screw four. And put it onto screw three. Just like that, and your AR timer is converted to attack. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to connect up my weather radio. And go ahead and give it back, give it power again. Make sure the siren is disconnected, and it is. Do it with your, always do it first with your siren disconnected, so you won't accidentally blast yourself or short anything. Now I'll go into the program function on your weather radio again. And go ahead and do another siren tap. As you can see, the timer's in attack now. You can see the relay's gonna turn off in a sec here. There it goes. The relay just turned off, and it's gonna turn back on in a sec. As you can see, now it's in attack. Now I'm going to fast forward until the timer resets, and then I'm gonna show you it with the siren. Now, what I'm gonna do now is now the attack timer is running, so I'm gonna go ahead and come over to my weather radio right here. And just go ahead and do another siren test on it. And here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs>
Now go back to refer to the timestamps that I will provide up on the side of the screen. And, and basically that will tell you which would you want for blast, alert, or attack when your weather radio goes off. Just make sure you only have weather radios go off or specific alerts that you want, like for tornado warning or something, for an example. Um, just so it won't go off all the time, if there are monsoons or severe weather in the area. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Other than that, um, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.